Welcome back everyone, this is Proofman from Overclocking TV and we're at the Edge Robot World Tour 2016 in South Africa, here in Cape Town, at the Rage Expo. That's the biggest gaming exposition we can have in uh, South Africa. And we just end up the Edge Robot World Series for Amateur and I've been joined by the first contestant that we had the chance to, uh, to talk with today is Cheese Jimmy. Hey man, how are you doing? Uh, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You, you finish. You were into the final. You finished fourth, but still, you did made it to the to the final. Yeah, that was great. Um, first of all, you you did register yesterday or the next few the past few days to actually the, um, take the take the workshop. Yeah. Um, how did you experience the workshop by itself? Uh, I I don't know really. It was quite simple, quite easy to do and whatnot. Did so you know about uh, Did you know about the clicking before you took the workshop? Uh, yeah, I knew about it, but I. Um, before I took the workshop, I had never done any overclocking at all. So yeah. So you heard about overclocking, but you never tried. Yeah. yeah. And uh, where the uh, who was your your teacher? Was that uh, Xiana or Doctor Wiz or Vivi or uh, you can't I can't remember. remember. Curly guy. Oh, Curly okay. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the French guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was Xiana. <laughs> So that was quite. Um, how how difficult was that for um, for you to understand the the workshop and then move on to the uh, uh, to the system? It wasn't at all difficult. It was quite easy. Super easy. And yeah, uh, yeah. Did, you had a lot of uh, knowledge about computer before. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a that's a way of doing it indeed. Yeah. And um, so you did 30 minutes of workshop, then 30 minutes of uh, you know, trying out the system by yourself. Yeah. Um, what was the the biggest challenge for you when you were trying uh, on the on the system? Uh, I can't. I don't really know. Like trying to get the balancing the the, the, the voltage of the thing is quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> that that was the, the the trick for you to know where you yeah. the, the throttling or not. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's always tricky. So in the end, you you did uh, you did end up uh, fourth in the qualifier, and then you you were here for the for the final. So the one versus one final is a little bit different than what you did experience before, and one versus one. How d were, you, were you stressed before the uh, the start of the competition? Uh, yeah, because I was going up against uh, the guy who came first. So, <laughs> <laughs> but that was uh, that was actually quite interesting to see you guys, uh, you guys fighting like one versus one and uh, trying to see uh, what would be the the best score you could get, and if you get the score. You were like 2869 points in total, and uh, UF Disciple was 2902. And that's the thing, UF Disciple didn't improve that much the score for the grand final. So you had a very, very tough opponent on the yeah. on the semi final for that. But how do you like to, uh, you will go, be going home with some goodies and, uh, and some fun and a good experience so far? You love it? You will do that again? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> um, now that you tried overclocking here, will you try to do that at home with your own computer? Uh, when I get an overclocking CPU. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you don't have a case queue now, huh? Eh? Yeah. yeah. So you have to get a case CPU and then you will, uh, you will do it yeah, differently. Oh, yes. yes, definitely. Yeah. So for someone like you, two, three days ago, that had no, not much information about overclocking, would you recommend that to people to, uh, to try out? Oh yes, definitely. It's 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 a lot of fun, and like especially with competitions like this, it makes it um, a lot interesting and like yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank maybe you for in, this. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. So, guys, we'll uh, go on and uh, go have a talk with the uh, with the third person in this uh, HW Bot World Series for amateur. Indeed,
Welcome back everyone, we are still at the HWBOT World Series 2016 in South Africa and just before we had Cheese Jimmy that was third in the competition and we are now with the second guy in the competition, Anru, is that uh, pronounced correctly? Yes. Perfect. So uh, thank you Anru for, for joining us for this live and uh, we will have a few questions for you. So you finished second in, uh, this, um, in, this, uh, in this competition, but let's go back to the workshop. So. Did you knew about overclocking before you came here for, for this event? Yes, quite little, but enough to know what to do. Okay, and uh, so you still took the workshop and, uh, and had your training, and then you had 30 minutes to train on, your, uh, on the platform. Uh, how was the, the fun? Was that the first time you tried out uh, Skylake CPUs? Yes, my very first time. It's actually the first time I'm actually on Skylake CPUs. <laughs> so how was the, your, your experience with it? It's quite exhilarating. It's much faster than anything else I've ever tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should send that to Intel. That's a good advertisement right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, that, that was great. And then you, um, you did qualify. You finished second in the, in the qualifier. But let's talk yes. more about uh, the, the final by itself. So one versus one. So you had to fight against someone else that had the, pretty much the same level uh, as you. And in the first match, you were against G-Man. And yet only one point difference. Yeah. Only one point difference. That was so close. It was very scary. <laughs> <laughs> it was, well, I couldn't stop shaking. I kept thinking, okay, what can I do? What can I do? And you have to push even further and further. And what, what was the, uh, the settings that was um, you know, making you the, the, the hard time the most? Well, yesterday we tried, I tried a uh, the multiplier to 48 and pushed it even higher to almost 4.9 gigahertz and today I couldn't get anything like that so I tried 47 multiplier and the voltage to plus minus 1.3537 ish and took it from there on that's sad but in the end still one point different so that was uh, that was quite crazy to you <laughs> yes. to have to, to have in there um, this, uh, did you do overclocking before at home on your system? Yes, very ah, very small overclocks. So now you will go back home and you will push even more? Uh, if I get enough cooling, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, getting, you're going home with some hardware as well, so that's going to be interesting yes. to see what you can do with that one, because actually, yeah. obviously, you didn't pay for it, so you could push it as much as you can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's no risk, or actually use that one as your new computer and push the other one as much as you can. Yeah, that will be uh, that will be fun to see, and um, I'm pretty sure we'll uh, know if you if you push the score, you will see you uh, on the HW bot as well, like uh, posting yes, on, yes, the, on yes, the scores. Yes, yes, definitely. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> How that was the first time you had competitive overclocking. So, what did you feel when you started first the the grand final? Adrenaline. It's pure adrenaline. It's just I want to. I want more, and I want more, and I want more, and then it started blue screen and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to try something else again. And then you go and then it's again, I want more and I want more. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. In it. And uh, I saw you were smiling a lot when I was yelling blue screen yes. during, the, during the final. The blue screen of death. <laughs> yeah, all, all the time. Um, that's uh, that's uh, quite interesting. Uh, thank you for the talk and uh, we'll uh, you see you much. maybe around uh, in some of the uh, other competitions, maybe later or on Yo. HWBOT. Definitely next year. <laughs> Thanks, thank man. you. Thank you very much. Next one on the uh, on the show will be UF Disciple. He's the winner of the Azure Bot World Series, and that's going to be in the next few minutes.
Welcome back everyone, uh, this is Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are at the HWBot World Series 2016 and uh, we just finished the amateur competition and we are now with the winner, UF Disciple, welcome on the live, how thank are you, you doing? You for, I'm doing alright, I'm a bit, uh, I'm still detoxing from all the stress of the competition. <laughs> oh, you, so you were stressed for the competition? Hmm. Uh, so the first the first match I was pretty lively, like I thought I could... I, handle it but then uh the second match the finals man i just i didn't know if i was gonna win so i just i was just focused on what i was doing very stressful <laughs> for me that 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 is crazy that you uh you, you did manage to do like all all that and that was some very in, interesting and impressive score that you that you guys uh, you, you guys did you. put on on the map right there was yeah. uh, was fun so let's talk about uh about the how this all came true so yep. first of all the uh, the event here is that your first rage uh, yes, yeah. Uh, so I moved to South Africa nine months ago, and I only found about out about the rage in Joburg the day before it was happening. And so I just didn't have time to make plans to attend it. So when I found out that the one in Cape Town was happening, I decided I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do media coverage and I'm just I'm gonna enjoy it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's good. You're actually doing a lot of uh, lot of lot of video apparently. And um, how are you living in Cape Town or? I live in uh, Pretoria. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it was a 14-hour drive down. down. Yeah, with my wife and two young children. So that was oh. good luck. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we head back tomorrow. So <laughs> and you yeah. head back with the hardware because you won and you're the champion yes. of the World Series. Yes. So you you, you gain some hardware and that's uh, that's all the fun. It's like yeah. okay, I I went there but I want some I want some stuff. So it's all fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to the uh, to the workshop. So when you came here, did you took the workshop with uh, with everyone and uh, yeah in, in there? So how was your experience with the workshop? It was it was really good. Um, I had VV teaching my workshop, and he was just incredibly thorough. And actually, there was a delay for time, so uh, he stalled by being even more in depth, and that was super helpful for me. Uh, just like taking part in the competition, I used everything he said in like that five minute delay to my advantage to to win the competition. So, did you knew about overclocking before coming here? So I, I know about overclocking and like I've studied it and I've just never done it myself just because I haven't really uh, needed to at any point. And that's I, I'm more of a function over form type, type of guy. So I don't do uh, overclocking just for fun. I would only do it if it serves a purpose. Uh, and so my limit of experience has been uh, just clicking a button in my BIOS and having it run my Skylake at like 4.4 gigahertz. Nothing fancy whatsoever. OC Genie. Oh, okay. that's it, 4 gig. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, so you had VV training you for, yes. uh, for for the workshop. That was uh, quite great. We The, the workshop was uh, using the same uh, motherboard, CPU, PSU, cooling, and uh, and RAM as uh, you would be using for the final. So that will uh, also help you out. In, yes, uh, that in was there, helpful. I yeah. I knew what to expect, so it allowed me to go home last night, do a bit of research, figure out how I could probably do better tonight. Or today. So you did, as an amateur, you did prepare still. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. Quite in so see, guys, if you're an amateur and you want to win something, you can just come here, try try to learn, learn something, and if you get qualified, just mm, no, learn a little bit on the internet of what uh, what you can do more. Yeah, yes, that, I just that was out. actually. <laughs> a, a nice I just checked out the HW Bot uh, website. It had everything that everybody did for the the qualifier with the amateurs, and so I just. I went through like probably a dozen or so different uh, people and what they did to get their scores, and I was prepared with that today, and it certainly helped me. So, uh, switching on to the um, to, to the final by itself, uh, how did you feel at before the final, uh, the the this final even start, like the the semi final you first competed? In? Um, I was I was I was just gonna enjoy it. I I wanted to win a prize, so I wanted to at least come in third. So I resolved in my mind that it would be okay if I lost. Like, I just, I came in with that expectation. But then when I was in the finals, it was like, no, I need to win. Like, I'm not going to, I can't come in se second. So, yeah, it was good. <laughs> There's no way I lose. There's yeah. no way I don't <laughs> win. There's no way I don't win. That's that's more like this. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It was third or fourth is fine, but second's not an option. No, I need to be first. If I, if I make it to the finals, I need to win. It's like being second is not an option. It's like overclockers. We can say like default is not the option, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot run default. Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So um, you you had a, a very decent score against Chis uh, uh, Jimmy in the, in the, in there. Yeah. But um, what was the the were you like on a full track 
in the semi-final and say, okay, I'm so sure about what I will be doing that I need to go there and, and push as much as I can. Uh, no, so the semifinals, I, I knew what I was doing and I wanted to see uh, what scores I could get and then also see what Cheese Jimmy was doing uh, because the other finalist was watching the match. And so I was like, okay, if I if I could just make sure I have enough points to win, I don't need to push it. Uh, just because I, I, I knew how to push it, so I didn't need to experiment. So I, I knew the other guy was watching, took my time, and just got enough points to win. That's a, that's an interesting strategy right there, indeed. Like, oh, I, I can do stuff, but I don't want to show you too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if the extreme will do that as well. That's quite <laughs> interesting to see, to see that even you as an amateur, you, you jump into that. And um, moving on to the grand final, that was um, a nice battle against uh, Anro for that. And there was one of the system that was giving you guys a very hard time. Yeah. It so was what a, happened? I, I don't know. Like any of the settings that I used on the left system would not work on the right system. Like the voltage, the, nothing would work properly on the right system. I don't know why. So uh, it just... It was more difficult for me because I had to adjust my strategy, which I had been using the entire time of just um, slowly upping the reference clock, slowly upping the voltage. And for some reason, the, the second system that I was on did not like that. It was a little bit more tricky indeed. And yeah. in the end, you guys did exactly the same score on the exact same yeah. system. Yeah. We were like, uh, th that, that's like 1452, 1452 all the time. It's yeah. Like, that, that was actually quite uh, quite crazy. So that means you guys pushed out the system to the maximum for what you can do in this uh, in these conditions. Hopefully, yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, some of the extreme overclockers will get to check out the the noob system, the amateur system, and see what they can do on it. That'd be pretty cool. That would be fun if Vivi can do 1452 maximum as well. I, I think he's gonna get quite a bit high. I, I don't think that I maxed out the system. We, well, so, so we will let Vivi play with the system, but he can do only one hand. Okay. He cannot, uh, he cannot uh, go into the BIOS, okay. and you have only one try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fair well, like this? <laughs> uh, I think he would probably still get higher than 1452. Well, we're talking about the number two best overclocker in, uh, in South Africa, huh? Yeah. Still, uh, yeah. still quite impressive. impressive. Guy. Yeah. Very cool dude as well. Yeah. So you are the HWBOT uh, World Series champion for the amateur. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you win yourself some uh, good hardware. You had like, almost a complete setup now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I already had a Skylake set up, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to give it away or sell it. So Or just yeah. use it for benching? Yeah, I also, yeah, I have quite a few systems set up for benching, so we'll see. We'll see what I do with it. <laughs> so that is quite interesting. So you will definitely go back home and try overclocking on all your computers now that you yes, did yeah. experience this year. Yeah, I think the main thing that I'm taking away is that it's it's easy to do within uh, Windows itself with the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. I don't have to mess with stuff in the BIOS. Uh, Intel makes it safe so that if I do something wrong, it's just going to crash the system and it's going to reboot. Uh, so I I wasn't aware that it was that simple from within uh, from within Windows to do. So, so now you're just going to be doing like much more often, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So we can expect to see you uh, climbing on the ranking of the rookie guys on HWBOT, I guess? Maybe, maybe. I'll check it out. I'll see. <laughs> Taking part on some of, the, some of the online competition because, as you say, there's a, like this thrill every time you go to like this uh, competitive overclocking. Yeah. So. yeah, well, now that I have a second 6700K, maybe I can just uh, use that one strictly for overclocking. Or you can just pick the best one of two and move to Egypt. That's no, true. Just, no, That's this true. is going way too, well, this is going <laughs> way too far. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Congratulations again thank for uh, for attending this event and uh, congratulations for winning this uh, World Series in South Africa. That's the first one ever we do here, and uh, we do may we maybe be back here next next year next time. Yeah. Who knows? I, I hope so. so. Thank you guys for putting <laughs> this on. It was enjoyable. <laughs> Perfect. And thank you very much for your time. All right. Cheers, man. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you guys for being with us all weekend on this live stream. We will uh, shut down all the stuff because we don't have any live stream anymore to, to do. All the finals are over. So to sum up what happened this weekend, we had um, the uh, workshop going on for two days. We had the world tour that was a, a gathering uh, of the overclockers. So some of the extreme overclockers were actually having fun with Liquid Nachter. And we had the workshop for the amateur. Then we had the qualifier for the amateur where this gentlemen did participate in and we had the HWBOT World Series 
for the extreme. We had the qualifier as well for three hours. Uh, we had the uh, final for them uh, yesterday evening. That was uh, the final was Dr. Wiz against Vivi, and that was number two against number one of South Africa. Number one of South Africa, Dr. Wiz won his first official live final. That was quite interesting to see, and you can actually go catch all of his. Uh, uh, interview and is uh, feeling on uh, youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV. You can also see that on his own Facebook page and uh, YouTube page. You just look, have to look for Dr. Wiz OC and uh, you will find it there. And uh, then today we had the, um, the final for the World Series for Amateur and uh, here you have. Disciple? UF Disciple, right? Yes, yes, yes. You, yeah, I pronounce it right, huh? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You, UF Disciple won this uh, World Series for Amateur 2016, the first time we ever came to South Africa, and I don't think that's going to be the last time ever. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you want more information about everything we do, you can go to facebook.com forward slash overclocking TV. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, of course, as you type with the same handle in one word. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in in the live chat on Twitch. If you want to know more about what we will be doing, Tuning next weekend because next weekend we will be in Europe for the same event, the World Tour Europe, and we will be at the Gamers Assembly in France. That's the biggest gaming uh, gaming event. That's the biggest LAN party in France. Over 2,000 gamers in the same uh, same location, and it's one of the funniest one we ever had. We have been going there for the past 10 years, and it's always. Always, always fun. We have a lot of uh, goodies for you guys next weekend. We have although a lot of good information about new project that we will release that we were leaking all around this weekend here and we will have all the information out next weekend so if you like what you see if you like what you saw this weekend tune uh, tune in next weekend follow us on twitch and until next time keep pushing it